Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson for you is on the Monty Hall probability problem. So let's go ahead and play. I'll be your game show host today. So I'd like you to pick a door, any door. Door number one, two, or three. We're going to play a game to see if you could win a car. I will reveal what is behind door number one. So for the intense purposes of this, because we can't interact with each other, I'm going to assume that you did not pick door number one. So for some reason that you did pick door number one, I'm going to ask you now to swap your choice to door number two or three, just so that we can play the game through this video, because again, I'm not in the same room as you, so I couldn't hear what your choice was. So I will reveal to you what is behind door number one. Door number one was hiding a goat. So you didn't win the car if you had picked number one, but I'm giving you another choice, okay? So now in your mind, you had originally either picked door number two or door number three. So now you've either picked door number two or door number three, okay? Are you gonna stay with that choice? Or I'm gonna give you an option to switch. So right now, pick an actual door, two or three. I will now reveal to you what is behind door number two. Door number two has a goat. Behind door number three, we have the car. So if you picked door number three, you won a car. I wonder, did you win the car? So now let's go through this probability model and look at this. So we had behind doors number one and two, each had a goat and door number three had the car. So I had three choices and two out of my three choices were goats. So I had a 67% chance or two out of three chance of selecting a door with a goat. There was one door, door number three, that had the car. So I had a 33% chance of picking the car, a one out of three chance. So now let's look at the whole idea of, I picked door number one. I have a 33% chance of winning the car. If it was behind doors number two or three, there's a 67% chance that the car is behind doors two and three. So I pick door one and I have a win, one in three chance or 33% chance of winning. And then there's a 67% chance that I'm going to lose and the car is behind doors number two or three. So if it is revealed to you that there is a goat behind door number three, you know now that your choice was door number one and it's not behind door number three. So if you're asked if you want to switch your choice, you have a 67% chance that it's behind door number two because this probability model did not change. You picked door number one and you had a one in three chance of winning. There was a two in three chance, that, or 67%, that the goat was one of them, of course, but that the car was there. So there was a 67% chance that you would win the car behind one of these other doors. So given this theory, this theoretical probability model, you should always switch and go to door number two. So I don't want a 33% chance of winning. I want a 67% chance of winning, and I'm always going to swap. So in theory, you will always have a higher probability of winning the car. So that's the Monty Hall problem. In the comment section, um, the description of this video, I've left you a Monty Hall simulator. It's a link to a simulator that you could actually test this out and do your own experiment. I have my students do it every year and they have a lot of fun with it. Um, ask a friend or a family member also to ask, are they going to stay or swap? But remember, always swap. You have a 67% chance of winning the car if you swap. I hope this was fun for you and that you'll play with the simulator and always come back and see what other lessons I have for you.